Good morning, ladies. My name is Caitlin Cornell. I'm one of the members of Team Spark, and I just wanted to share with you today my story. So, um, you know, everyone's kind of got, you know, a different background, different reasons as to why they have done what they've done and why they decided to jump into this business. So I thought I would share with you my story since uh, it's a little bit different from everyone else's. So just a quick uh, background about me. Um, super exciting. I grew up in Maryland. I actually went to high school with Gina, who is my upline coach, um, which you will learn more about in this group, what an upline coach is, what a personally sponsored coach is, all that other stuff. You'll you'll learn that down the road once you kind of decide to dive into this business. Um, but I actually knew Gina from high school. She was in the same grade as my older brother, and I was in the same grade as her younger sister. So it was just a small world. Um, but I went to Ohio State. I graduated um, with a degree in athletic training, and I did that for uh, about three years um, before I decided that all the red tape that I was having to cut through and jump around and loops to go through, and I wasn't giving the care and service that I was taught. And uh, long story short, it just didn't make me happy anymore, so I, I wanted to move on. Um, and I did a complete 180. I had not ended up at Beachbody at this point. Uh, before that, I decided to go to culinary school because I knew baking made me happy. And at that point in my life, I just knew I wanted to do something that made me happy. So I have been doing that for the past about uh, five, six years, something like that. And um, it's, it's made me happy, but in that time, I had a baby. And it was a very happy welcome to the family, but he, um, as many of you moms may know, um, child care is expensive. <laughs> and so I wasn't making a ton of money before, but I was happy doing what I was doing. So when my husband and I sat down and talked about finances, um, which is already a tough conversation to have, but when we talked about that, we realized that, you know, what I made based on what... Um, daycare was, it really didn't make sense for me to go to work. It made more sense for me to stay home with my child. But I, as a woman, and especially um, as a edu college-educated woman, and just um, seeing my mom work growing up, it was very hard for me to give up that working side of me. Um, I felt like I still needed to provide financially for the family. So I started working just these insane hours to make sure that I was still providing for the family. So I would go in at 3 a.m., come back around 8 or 9 so my husband can go to work and then I could stay home with the baby. Uh, but I just wasn't living a quality life. I was I was tired all the time. I mean, you can imagine my alarm goes off, you know, at 3 in the morning. It's not, uh, it doesn't make for a fun day. And then, you know, I napped when the baby napped, but um, it didn't make up for it. And it just, I was just not happy. And it's funny that before this opportunity came around, my husband said, you know, I wish you could just find a job that you could do at home. So you could be at home with Max all day, but still make money because I know that that's what you want. I know you want to provide for the family. And for the longest time, Razvan kept trying to get me to quit my job. And I said, I can't. I just can't do it. It's not in me to quit. And <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, that's kind of right at the time when this uh, opportunity came along. So not only was I feeling kind of down about income and lack of sleep and whatever, but I was also, you know, still carrying some of that baby weight. Um, at this point, I was about six months postpartum. And so I was down to a few pounds above my pre-pregnancy weight, but even my pre-pregnancy weight, we got to say like college caught up to me, you know, I wasn't young anymore, the, the alcohol, the late nights, they were, you know, they got up and so I just wasn't feeling great about myself. Um, so an opportunity with Gina came along, I joined one of her free groups first. Um, and then she approached me about joining a challenge group doing P90X3. So I, of course, dove right in because I said, you know, I just quit my gym membership. It, you know, it was like timing was everything. And that's what I've learned in this business. Timing is absolutely everything. I had maybe two days before I started this the free challenge with Gina, I had quit my uh, gym membership because I said, I'm not going. I don't have time. I'm never going. And, you know, by the time my husband got home from work for me to go to the gym, I was like, yeah, no, I'm tired. I'm going to bed. <laughs> I'll make dinner and go to bed. Um, 
So it all worked out. I was like, this is perfect. I had done P90X several, several years ago, so I knew doing that at-home program would be great. And then now that the P90X3 was 30 minutes, I was like, this is perfect because I don't have an hour and a half to work out. But 30 minutes, it's like a no-brainer. I can have my son crawling through me, helping me do squats, do whatever, using him as a weight in those 30 minutes, and it's great. And um, not too long into uh, the program, Gina approached me about the coaching opportunity, and I... Again, it was kind of a no-brainer. I laughed when she came to me, not like in a bad way, like in a very good way. And I went to my husband and I said, you know how we talked about having a job where I could stay at home and still raise our son and work and provide financially for the family? He's like, yeah. I, I mean, I know, yeah, what? Like, I think it's here. I, I think I found it. Like, I, I think this just fell into my lap. And he's like, no, no way. So I um, did the same thing that you ladies are here doing. I joined a sneak peek coaching open house. Um, and I just thought, wow, if I surround myself by women like this, women who work hard, who want to provide financially, who wanted a change in their life, who want to be there for their family, or whatever other reasons, they want to throw a little extra money at their vacation fund so they can go on a nicer vacation. Or they just, you know, they want the discount on Shakeology because it's expensive, but it's worth it because, you know, we've all seen the results. And um, so whatever your reason, it was just nice to see that there were different reasons and different people out there and that all these people were hardworking women that were willing to do it. And so I said, I, I've got to do this. Like this is, again, this is just a no brainer in my head. This is what I've been asking for. This is what I've been thinking about. And it was also a great way for me to kind of meld together my um, athletic training background and then my love for Beachbody and then my love for baking because I thought, well, everyone loves to eat sweets. I mean, I know maybe not everyone's as crazy as I am about sweets, but everyone loves a good cookie every now and then, right? But why can't I find a way to make it healthy? Like, the, of course, this is easy. Like, I'm trained in this. I know how to do this, switch out some things, try some stuff out. So I was able to kind of bring all these parts of me together and bring them into the business. And it's been um, a great journey, and I can only see things going up from here. I want to build my business. So I know Gina um, talked earlier about there's going to be different types of coaches, and we'll dive more into that later. But I am a full-in business building coach. I want this to be my career, and uh, I want this for my family. And um, so that's, that's kind of where I see myself going. I'm so happy that Gina came along, and I'm so happy that this opportunity came along. And I'm really proud to be part of Team Spark because we're surrounded by great women from all walks of life that are here working their tails off, you know, for whatever, for whatever reason, so that they can become a stay-at-home mom with an income, so that they can get some extra cash on the side, so that they can get a discount. You know, whatever the reasons, we're all here to you know make a, a better life for ourselves and and I think that's great so um I hope I didn't bore you too much um but yeah that that's my reason I um I'm here and I hope <laughs> that was enough for you guys so I hope you have a great day and enjoy this the the coach sneak peek and hopefully you join team spark all right bye guys